Brothers Church family. This is your brother, Drew Wilds, uh, speaking to you. I've been asked to answer a question about how God has been working in my life and the things I've been learning throughout the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Um, and so I plan to answer that here. I'm coming to you from uh, South Georgia. I'm visiting my family at the moment, but I plan to be back up in Maryland uh, in the near future. Um, so to start off, I'd like to say that it's been a little bit lonely. Um, I live by myself in Maryland. I'm removed from uh, all my family and met most of my friends live a little bit further away. But uh, so I really miss the church and I really miss the fact that we've been able to gather. But point number one I'd like to say is that I have been truly blessed by my small group. The fact that we're able to get together and pray together and share with each other has been marvelous and has been a true encouragement for me. And so I would exhort you to, if you're not part of a small group, to please get a part of one. I know how much it has benefited me and bless me, and I know that it will do the same to you. So that's point number one for me. Um, even though that we're geographically distanced uh, and spatially distanced from each other, we're not actually truly socially distanced from each other. Uh, the second thing I'd like to say is a lesson that I learned actually before the pandemic started and that I have been trying to apply and implement in my life uh, lately, and that is to renew my daily Bible reading. And I would just take you back really quickly to one of the things that we learned back when we were going through the book of Joshua in chapter 3 that pastor has been leading us through. In chapter 3, we talked about how the people of Israel were crossing over the Jordan River. And at that point, the manna stopped. And so we took a break in the sermon at that point to kind of go back into Exodus and kind of learn a little bit about the manna and what it was for and why it stopped in the book of Joshua. And uh, I just want to say that this lesson that I learned is not from me, but I actually learned it from Brother Mark Barnhart through small group and through uh, the youth group lessons, actually, and it's been sticking with me, and I've been meditating on it and trying to really apply it to my life. So I would lead you guys to Exodus chapter um, 16, if you're curious, Exodus chapter 16, verse 19 and 20, tells us a little bit about what was going to happen with the manna. Moses reminded them that no one is to keep any of it until morning. In verse 20, some of them paid no attention to Moses. They kept part of it until morning, but it was full of maggots and began to smell. And what this tells us is that the manna from yesterday is not meant to last until today. God had new provision and new manna to sustain the Israelites in their wilderness each and every day. And they had to trust God each and every day for that. They weren't supposed to keep it because God had something new planned for them the next day. And so this reminds me from Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, where God, where Jesus tells us that man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. So in the same way that the people of Israel were sustained by manna in their wilderness, so we are sustained by the word of God in all of our wildernesses, both with the pandemic and all the other things that we deal with throughout life. And so just as another reminder that yesterday's manna, yesterday's lessons, yesterday's word of God, the grace and mercy of God from yesterday isn't supposed to last you until today because God has something new in store. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 21 through 23 tells us that uh, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And so as I've been reminded that what I learned yesterday as I read my scripture is not supposed to sustain me today because God has a new lesson and new grace and new mercy for me for today. And he has a new one planned for tomorrow. So this just reminds me that every single day I have to go out and I have to pick up the manna. Or if you want to use the term, I have to go out and I have to read the word and study the scripture because that's what I live on. And that's what sustains me throughout all this. So I would encourage you guys to do that in the same way that I'm trying. Most of the time I fail, but I've been renewed in my vigor, and I'm trying to do this every single day. So thank you guys for listening to this. Um, I pray that the Lord bless you and keep you throughout all this, and I cannot wait until we get a chance to meet together um, physically once again. Take care. Mm -hmm.